Thanks. Hey, this is Raul and how's it going everyone? We are heading today to the Triumph dealership. We're going there because my friend is getting the delivery of his Triumph Daytona 675. Not the R version, the standard version. And yes, if you're wondering, uh, it is one of those BS3 deals. He got a great deal on the bike when he bought it for uh, the BS3 sale was going on. For the people who are watching from uh, abroad, let me just explain this to you quickly. BS3 is a, like a Euro 3 norm. Now, the Apex Court of the country ruled that after 31st March, the sale of BS3 vehicles, cars and motorcycles, was banned. So to clear out the stock, cars and bikes both went on to have a huge discount. Now, Uh, he made the most of the situation and he got this amazing bike the Daytona 675 think of this when you are not hunched forward and you're sitting upright uh, even on the ZX-10R you will get wind blast and you can cut down wind blast on a naked by adding a double bubble sort of like Puig makes those aftermarket windscreens so you can do that and naked bikes are more and more becoming like the handling difference was huge between a sport bike and a naked bike but they're making naked bikes more sporty by making the handlebars uh, smaller right narrower rather and a little lower set so now naked bikes have the sport bike handling without going the full aggressive stance like hunched up on your tank so naked bikes are becoming very practical and Triumph has decided to pull the plug on the 675 uh, Daytona version which is uh, which will make these bikes very rare after a few years and they'll be probably uh, on a high demand on a market like India where we're just sucker for fairings this is a situation right now okay. so that's one of the the morning so we're meeting up all the bikers here we are here at triumph showroom kolkata and we've got all those bikes behind me and the reason we are here i've already explained that my friend sort of over there he's getting the delivery of the white daytona 675 and that's an absolute beauty actually i didn't even know that the bike came in this white and black uh, color scheme. I used to know about the uh, the bikes moving at, at the back, I cannot focus on it. But just uh, listen to me, uh, the bike used to come in white and blue and the red combination which everyone knows about. And honestly I'm loving the white. I think in this yellow lighting of the dealership, it's looking great. 
better than the red one. Uh, you can tell me which one you like. So here we have one of the trying out the new Daytona's position, and uh, I would like to show you something. See uh, here. We've got a Ferrari cap on a Triumph bike. That is total thug life. <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, the 675 cc becomes a thousand cc when he sits. <laughs> First life. I don't get life often, but today I'm getting life because it's always been put onto me that happiness need to be shared. So you can tell this is one of the happiest day in my life, and I'm having so many great people with me. Definitely my dad, my uncle, where is my uncle, 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 my uncles, uncle, uncle's uncle missing. <laughs> I'm having Ornubda, the legendary Ornubda, peace. <laughs> Ride with Rahul, Rahul Mojumda, Rahul Da. Hi. Unveil the bike which I've already shown you. Three, two, one. So he's, he's kind of busy, he has to go, but we'll continue with this and we'll show you some on road shots as well. So let's get back to the vlog. So my friend over there, he was actually getting a free jacket from Triumph and the thing what happened is the size didn't fit him. He wears a size large, the size they had in stock was XL. So that's why he didn't bring any gears because he was gonna get leather jacket free from Triumph in that because he got the BS3 bike and they gave him a big discount plus a free riding gear and some accessories uh, discount on the accessories as well like it's already got that frame slider and uh, some other stuff pre-installed on the bike like the tank pad and uh, I'm forgetting what all other stuff he got but uh, the jacket didn't fit so I told him not to take the jacket and asked Triumph to get him his size and afterwards he'll be getting the jacket from them for right now for his first maiden ride is not gonna wear gears he bought his helmet he bought his gloves jacket he was gonna get doesn't work out every time what we plan he's pretty comfortable on the bike he was actually kind of worried kind of worried there is no left turn i think there is no turn here turns case kabe na gude aste be ना यूटा नहीं है कहने वोटा इलीगल केस दिए दीते वाले एक ही एक ही नहीं आस्ते अबे ना ना एक टू एक ही जावे ना बाइक टा नीचे एक टू एक ही जावे हाँ लेफ्ट चलो 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 एक बार राइट ने वो जगह ने पावो है सो देर ही इज इज वेटिंग ऑन द बाइक ब्लॉगिंग देर ही इज इज वेटिंग ऑन द बाइक एंड वी वी आल्सो हैव अ कार वी थिंकिंग आई हैविंग सम शॉट्स फ्रॉम द कार बट इट डिन वर्क आउट सो इफ यू कैन नॉट लोकेट योर कार आफ्टर वर्ड्स देन वी हैव टू स्टॉप समवेयर इन द शेड After we take that turn, and then we'll call them that we have taken the U-turn, and just come and follow us. So yeah, that's it. So maiden first ride. What are the impressions so far? If you tell me, I'm in complete love. I'm in love with this. I'm feeling like I'm not in a 675cc. I'm feeling like I'm in 1000cc. But it's easier to handle, right? It's not scaring you, or yeah. I was telling you. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It's 
look at that. You're spacing pretty well with the new bike. Um, indicators are on, that's fine. So you see, this is why I say that he's got no experience of riding 600cc bikes. But now as you're opening the throttle, you're not going to get the kick out of the 600. You see, it is relatively easy if you are used to like uh, maybe a couple of hundred cc. And then, you know, when you move up, just don't use your throttle too much. Just keep it on the second gear, third gear. Slowly accelerate, slowly decelerate. Don't go to speeds from where you have to brake really hard. Maintain 60, 70 and see how easy it is to ride the bike. And of course, when you're trying to push it, then it will be different, right? But you're not trying to push it. Expected mileage, I'm not really sure, but at least 15. Because I know liter bikes give about 12, so I'm just being... Uh, giving you the lowest estimate so if they have given 30 then uh, technically we should be fine but I mean if they've given five liters technically we should be fine but I don't know what they've done we are riding it very sanely so we should be getting good mileage and he's pretty comfortable with the bike that's what I was like worried about and look that girl's checking him out Did you guys see that? This girl is definitely checking him out. She's for to any big bike, like if you're moving on to a 390 from a 150cc bike, or you're moving on to a 675 from a maybe 200 to a 390 series of bikes, the idea is not to be too adventurous. The idea is to take it slow and move progressively. Wear your gears. This guy already told you he didn't get the jacket because the sizing was wrong and it would have served no protection purpose. Now, that's why I asked him to get a smaller size, basically. Seems like a lot of uh, bigger guys are buying sport bikes and that's why I only had bigger sizes or maybe the smaller sizes got sold out. The opposite logic, only smaller guys are wearing bikes, uh, buying these bikes and, you know. So, Trump's leather, honestly, you're getting, uh, is getting it for free. The leather is a good quality. It doesn't have perforations on it. So, you know, it's gonna be that single season jacket. I have a lot of perf on my leather and that is what allows me to use this jacket on almost like fall, winter and early summer. Now early summer kind of burns, you know, it heats up, not really burns. Burns is something that you'd expect if you're riding without gears because you get sunburned and stuff. With gear, it definitely heats up a lot inside see is even even doing it better than I am is like going into all sorts of traffic and um, well I'm, I'm not trying too many things here because I know that when I'm when I'm focused on uh, talking to you guys some of the focus does move away from the riding and uh, that is something that I have to, have to accept as a risk so it seems that he does know the way so I don't have to lead him I just have to like he just wanted me to be there in case something went wrong and of course nothing's gonna go wrong but we just have to have a little bit of backup and that kind of gives you that mental confidence more than anything We're kind of going through a slight lean though I don't expect him to lean with the spike <laughs> so this is looking amazing this is that Calcutta's iconic second Hooghly Bridge and I don't know why but my bike seems to be moving around a bit too much I did fill it with air but something's not right with the bike today 
I'm just not feeling as much confidence as I normally feel. The bike seems to be moving around a lot. I have to get that suspension checked. I think the rear end is moving up a little bit too much, which could be due to uh, a lot of reasons. Maybe we're running low on oil. I have to check. I'm not really happy with the feeling of the bike today. Yeah. They were supposed to give us 5 liters of fuel, but unfortunately, I barely think they gave us 2 liters. And the bike's not starting up. We almost reached, but see the condition. This is what he was worried about. And I was thinking he had got enough fuel, but that's it. Disaster struck. His bike won't start. So, luckily, we've got a petrol uh, station about a uh, couple of hundred meters from now. So, I think we can make it that far. So that's it for now, he'll move off to that place and we will just go on. Bad situation here.